Result in force vector application. The question is can forces of 10 newtons, 20 newtons, and 40 newton keep an object at rest? So that is a very interesting question. How will you answer it? Well, three forces can be at rest if and only if you can form a triangle with them, correct? If you can't find, form a triangle, then they cannot be at rest. Why a triangle? Let us say we have two forces, and that is one like this, and the other one is like this. Right? Then their resultant will be like this. So that is the resultant of these two forces, some of these two forces, which will try to move the system in that direction. Now if the third force is equal and opposite to this resultant force, then only we get a state of equilibrium. Therefore, the third force should actually form a triangle with it. You see that? Only then we'll get equilibrium. So in this case, we have got the forces as the magnitude is 10 newtons, 20 newtons, and 40 newtons. Can they form a triangle? That is a big question. Now a triangle has a special property and that is sum of two sides is always greater than the third. So the property of a triangle is sum of two sides is always greater than the third side, right? Well, if it is a flat thing, kind of, if the two forces are collinear and pointed in the same direction, then it should be equal. Do you see that? Right? So, we can say greater than or equal to. Right? If it is a flat thing, right? So, we can have a triangle with zero height, you can say, right? In that case, equal to. In our case, sum of two sides, is it greater than or equal to the third? That is what we need to check. Now, if we check it, we'll find these are the two sides. If you add them, what is 10 plus 20? It is 30, right? 30 newtons, which is smaller than 40 newtons. And therefore, a triangle cannot be formed. So the third side will be actually shorter. So you'll not be able to form a triangle. And with the result, the net force will be this much pointing in this direction. So the system will not be at rest. Do you see that? That is how you explain this. I hope you understand. Thank you.